Hi everybody, welcome to the astrology chat for the full moon in Pisces that is happening on August 31st, 2023. For us on the East Coast, it's going to happen around 9.35 p.m. But of course, as always, the full moons are like a three day before, three day after type of thing. And this also applies to the new moons as well. So this energy is not something that's going to be a flash and then it's gone. This is an energy that is going to permeate, it's going to trickle, and it's going to shift your perspective and your actions for a long time, especially since this is a super moon and it's a blue moon. We did begin the month with a full moon and now we are ending the month with a full moon. And so this full moon in Pisces is very interesting. This full moon in Pisces with its opposition to the sun in Virgo is calling you to let yourself listen to your dreams. Let yourself listen to your spirit. Let yourself kind to take a retrospective view about what you've had, what you've lost, what you've realized, allowing yourself to kind of hone in on the power of hindsight to not critique or judge yourself or feel like you've missed or lost something, but to see the spaces of opportunity, of creation, of growth, and of understanding that are still available to you. And this full moon is also happening with a conjunction to the moon in Pisces with Saturn. And this is Saturn that is retrograde. So there is this energy of allowing yourself to take responsibility um, for your ability to create, to form, to decide, and to take authority in your life. And Let's keep in mind that we have six planets that are retrograde during this full moon. And with that many planets in retrograde, I want you to consider that this isn't about you receiving external validation from other people. This is a very internal process. This is a process of allowing yourself to really look at who you are and what you want and what you've experienced and where you want to go with that. And thankfully with Saturn and Pisces, this is a planet that, yes, can be stern, right? But stern for a reason. It wants you to think about these things. It wants you to consider these things so that you can find where you are not powerless, where you can develop that authority in your own life. And with this opposition to the sun in Virgo, Virgo likes that. Virgo wants to consider. Virgo wants to analyze. Virgo wants to organize. Uh, and also Virgo wants to release. And that axis of Virgo and Pisces in many ways is about release. Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. This is about endings. And as I always say to you, where there's an ending, there's a new beginning. So allowing yourself to stand in the fact that you are simultaneously creating and deconstructing at the same time. And now what I think is also interesting is that while we have this going on in the mix, we do have both Mercury making a trine to Jupiter and Jupiter trining the sun. And so if you looked at the chart, you would see that there's kind of a kite energy that's forming. And this is saying like, you know, you are going in the direction you are realizing, you are hearing, you are meditating, you are listening, you are filtering, you are considering, and you're going in a direction that's going to take you to an end goal. And that's all right. This is really an energy of allowing yourself to stand in the process of release, right? It's not like, okay, I've decided I'm going to get over my horrible childhood. No, that's not how it works, right? It's about building a system that enables you and supports you in that release and allow that to be your approach for everything. How can I build a system that supports my endings and also supports my new beginnings? Where do I need to put in the work to achieve what I want so that I can go further from my limitations and more towards my authority? So overall, there is this very deep and introspective beauty to this um, full moon in Pisces. Let yourself sit in that, let yourself cultivate that, and allow yourself to make your own parameters, your own compass, the one that guides you. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you tomorrow.